Hey guys and gals and all my pals, welcome back to Outfits Garage. As you can see, this thing is an outfit. My table and bench is absolutely a disaster. My shop's a disaster. It is disasterized. There's not a smooth surface anywhere that don't have something on it. Yeah. Anyway, what we are doing here today, tonight, whatever it is, this is Friday. I'm going to show you what I've done here. I've, I've got some awesome, some uh, the, the soap solution, some high strength soap. That, that awesome is, well, I just have to tell you guys, it's awesome. Uh, let me show you what we've got going here. I have got this uh, tub set up. I bought this at the dollar store, Dollar General. I got it, uh, I don't know, 12 bucks for this tub. Uh, poured uh, about three quarters of a gallon of awesome in here and I put a timing gear in here. Now don't you look at how that's eating that off, just sitting in it. Look at that, just sitting in it, it's eating it off. You don't even have to scrub this stuff. You just let it set and eat on it. That's some awesome stuff. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to come in here and show you this. I'm going to show you a little bit of what I'm doing. I'm going to clean on this a little bit and uh, see about uh, trying to get this stuff cleaned up. I'm going to reuse this stuff. That time and chain had a little bit of slack in it, but I had put a Mellings time and chain on my last motor, brand new Mellings right out of the box and it had as much slack as that chain right there did. Brand new, so I said, I'm never gonna spend money on one of them new roller timing chains again if it's gonna be the same way. Why spend $75 on a brand new timing chain that's just as much slack in it as the old one? I don't know, that's just the way it goes. But uh, I'm gonna get this uh, pair of gloves here that way I don't get my hands all Nasty. Finally figured out that through these years it might be a good idea to buy some gloves. So that's what I did. Trying to get these gloves over here. These may not work out too good for me, but that might help me a little. Now I gotta find my brush I had. Let's see if I can find it. I just had it right here. All right, let me see if I can get y'all set up a little closer. That's a little better. thing is just eating right off. I got this right here. Set up so that I can spray it. Just spraying it almost sprayed it all off. This soap's a whole lot better for you than uh, uh, gas, diesel, any of that sort. So, you know, when I, I first started helping my dad clean parts, this is what my job was. Did we have gloves back then? No. Didn't have no, no gloves. Guess what we washed her? parts with gas here I was eight years old nine years old with my hands elbow deep in a gas pan with an old rag sitting and washing parts now I think that wasn't a little bit sketchy and you got to remember this is back in the day when gas was gas Gas back then was 
brighter, had a different color to it than it does now. Now it's yellow or clear. Back then, when you poured it up, pour, if you if you didn't have a gas jug, you get an old milk jug, and clean it out, and use it, and it, that gas would be orange. I want you to look. Look at that. Looks almost brand new. I'm going to set that right there. It's changed. The main reason I'm cleaning this up is I hate to handle nasty stuff trying to put stuff back together. Plus, as I said, that was my job growing up, helping my dad wash parts. And if that wasn't washed good enough, believe me, he let me know. I call that good. Good enough. This has got awesome in it. I'll take these, rinse these off in water and then spray them down with some WD-40 and they'll be ready to go. Now I can't get my gloves off. How about that? That stuff is slick now. All right, that's my back cover. I'm gonna knock this seal out real quick because I'm gonna put a brand new seal in this. And uh, I'm gonna put this in here in just a minute so they'll get this seal knocked out. All right, got my seal knocked out of it. Fix and lay it in here and let it get to soaking. And uh, let that soak in there a minute. We'll uh, let it do its thing. It also just doesn't work. It eats that eats that stuff right off. I've never seen seen stuff work that fast. Okay, already getting it, eating it off. Just taking a brush, just lightly scrubbing it. As you can see, it's already taking it off. Just melting it right off. Again, this is straight, awesome. I didn't add water, didn't add anything else to it. It's just straight. I bought this pump up sprayer at Atwoods, but you can get one at Harbor Freight for $4. I got this one for uh, $7 at uh, Atwoods. Uh, some of you may not have Atwoods, you may have a Royal King, wherever you're at. But, uh, it's 
so we may have tractor supply there. They're basically all the same thing. It's just a cheap pump up sprayer. Probably get them at uh, Tractor Supply, Ace Hardware, Menards, uh, about any of those kind of places will have these things. Just a little cheap pump up sprayer, just kind of help you if you need it. If you want to just kind of wash some parts off. I'm not going to too much worry about this stuff that's baked in. I could probably leave it set in here and let it soak, and I may do that. Let's see, it's already starting to eat it off in here. You may not can see that very good. Let me get over here. But you can see right there, it's starting to eat it off. But this, this motor had 250,000 miles on it. So it's got a little bit of crud on it. And that side right there, as you can see, it's just eating it off. It just, it's just coming right off. Got a little wire brush right here. Let me hit these stubborn places and just see what happens. I haven't been doing a whole lot of videoing. Uh, my father-in-law passed away and uh, I've been kind of tied up with all of that. And uh, so we're just, we kind of slowed down around here for a little while to kind of get our minds right. And, Got a, my mother-in-law's moving in with us. Uh, so, until we can find her a place up here, I can't, uh, they could stay up there where they're at, but uh, it just wouldn't work out real good. And uh, she wants to be up here. So, we're going to try to get her up here. Look at that. Is that not clean up or what? Cleaned up nice. I'm gonna let that soak some more. I, I I'm pleased with that. It's just it's just a little bit of that old baked on oil that's on the walls in there. But uh I'm I'm satisfied with that. But I'm gonna like I say I'm gonna let this soak tonight for a little bit longer anyway. Maybe another 30 minutes to an hour. Come back to it. And uh, see what happens. We'll look at it again here in just a little bit. And uh, go from there. But uh, I'll come back with you whenever uh, I start cleaning on this again. Probably, be, well, it'll be here in just about, I don't know, three or four seconds for y'all. But anyway, I'll be back with you in just a minute.
All right, guys, I got y'all propped up. It's a little bit off kilter. It's been soaking for about 30 minutes or better. We're going to get back at this, see how it looks now. Just about ready to wash off. Look at that. Just falling off. Just falling off. How about that? Some of it's kind of stuck. And then there's just kind of stuck or biked on or something. Before we clean up too much more stuff, we'll start soaking it in this off and let this soak. Oh, this cover will be behind the this cover will be behind the bell housing, so it's plenty good. We may need to find another radiator. I'm not sure how. No, would it be in that down in there? I'll have to repair that. But I'm sure it can be done. But okay. See what? That's very nice. So with us finding out that we had this old leaky radiator, uh, rather than trying to find a shop that could I'll go rinse this off. We decided to just It'll be done. I call that good. A just a little bit of staining right there. I could let it sit in there and soak and it'll get all off. But that's good enough for me. Be back with you here in a minute. Well hey guys, we are back. As you can see, we got this stuff cleaned up, sitting here ready. We uh, I got old Puddin' on the TV right there. Anybody ever watch Puddin' Fab Shop? Anyway, he's building him an old hot rod. But uh, let me show you what we're doing. Anyway, what well, you know, we've been cleaning all that stuff over there. But we've been over here doing a little welding on this car, getting our floor pan in. Probably the next time you see this, we'll probably have floor pan in it. We got a, our, our floor pan is welded to the floor over there. We got to get over here and do some. Have to shove this down, weld it to the frame. Uh, same thing right here. We get in here and weld that. Weld it across the floor where we had pulled it apart. Anyway, I got talking about something there. I get I got back here, but uh, we're working on this some more. We're gonna try to knock this thing out. We've We've added some bars here, stuff. Uh, anyway, 
I'm going to get this thing knocked out, floor pan in it, weld it up all the way across, weld it across to right up here where it's supposed to be welded. And uh, get some tires and wheels, well, get a paint job on it. Uh, finish the body out, we'll have to get some, some more sheet metal to fill the deck in back here, coming up here, but we gotta get the body on before we can kind of tell where that goes. Uh, these are, these Camaro bodies are a little hard to kind of form fit too, but we'll get it figured out. Um, we'll get good enough what we'll get. Well, that's uh, kind of where we've been here in the little, last little while. I put a another part in my little wash vat right here to uh, try to get that cleaned up. I'm going to check that here in a minute before I go in. And we'll see if that looks pretty good. I've got you all over the place, sorry. But uh, anyway, we will uh, be back with you later. This is kind of a how-to on cleaning parts on a budget. And a little bit of heads up on what we're doing on this old race car over here. So, anyway, heard Matthew. He's uh he's been in here thrashing tonight, and uh, but we're gonna get on out of here and uh, get around and see what we can get done. We've got to get up early in the morning and go load mother-in-law up and get her moved up here. So we got the race car trailer loaded up. You seen the other day we got the bearings put back in it so it's uh up and rolling again got the, got the old old david hooked up to it the old ford dually uh full tank of gas in it it's sitting on ready so we'll see uh if we can't make a trip to northeast arkansas so but anyway heard matthew saying god bless you uh, keep a hammering, guys. Keep a hammering. That's what we're going to do. Y'all do the same thing. We'll see y'all later.